Hello, good morning, children. Okay, uh, before we start our um, the school worship, uh, we open our worship with opening prayer. So let us pray. Dear God, uh, thank you for the bless. Thank you for the for the uh, great day that we have. Uh, thank you that you give us chance to listen to your word. Uh, we want to submit our mind to you. So please guide us. Please give us a uh, Holy Spirit so we can understand the the Bible that we read, the message that the Bible will uh, provide to us. So please lead us to to understand that and apply that in our daily life thank you lord in the name of jesus christ we pray amen bible text genesis chapter 26 verse 12 until 33 Isaac planted crops in that land and the same year reaped a hundredfold, because the Lord blessed him. The man became rich, and his wealth continued to grow until he became very wealthy. He had so many flocks and herds and servants that the Philistines envied him. So all the wells that his father's servants had dug in the time of his father Abraham, the Philistines stopped up, filling them with earth. Then Abimelech said to Isaac, Move away from us, you have become too powerful for us. So Isaac moved away from there and encamped in the valley of Gerar and settled there. Isaac reopened the wells that had been dug in the time of his father Abraham, which the Philistines had stopped up after Abraham died, and he gave them the same names his father had given them. Isaac's servants dug in the valley and discovered a well of fresh water there. But the herdsmen of Gerar quarreled with Isaac's herdsmen and said, The water is ours. So he named the well Essek, because they disputed with him. Then they dug another well, but they quarreled over that one also, so he named it Sitna. He moved on from there and dug another well, and no one quarreled over it. He named it Rehoboth, saying, Now the Lord has given us room and we will flourish in the land. From there he went up to Beersheba. That night the Lord appeared to him and said, I am the God of your father Abraham. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. I will bless you and will increase the number of your descendants for the sake of my servant Abraham. Isaac built an altar there and called on the name of the Lord. There he pitched his tent, and there his servants dug a well. Meanwhile, Abimelech had come to him from Gerar, with Ahazeth his personal advisor and Phicol the commander of his forces. Isaac asked them, Why have you come to me, since you were hostile to me and sent me away? They answered, We saw clearly that the Lord was with you, so we said, There ought to be a sworn agreement between us, between us and you. Let us make a treaty with you that you will do us no harm, just as we did not molest you but always treated you well and sent you away in peace. And now you are blessed by the Lord. Isaac then made a feast for them, and they ate and drank. Early the next morning the men swore an oath to each other. Then Isaac sent them on their way, and they left him in peace. That day Isaac's servants came and told him about the well they had dug. They said, We found water. He called it Sheba, and to this day the name of the town has been Beersheba. Good morning, children. So, let's start our Bible sharing today for this week. And the title is Isaac Does Not Fight. Okay, when we, if we start our Bible reading from the beginning of the chapter 26, we can learn that the famines has been there and then uh, Isaac not only Isaac experienced it but also his father Abraham so uh, you can imagine this let's say uh, this year we have famine and then next year or next two years the, there's another famine so it's a recurrence and usually in the Middle East this due to of a lack of water maybe there is not enough uh, rain to water the the earth and it causes a prolonged drought season and makes a barren land so during the famine of course the 
there is no there is not enough food for everybody and it will be a hard time for us to 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 live at the chapter at the chapter 4 verse 4 god promised isaac for having a uh, abundant uh, descendants as many as stars and also provide him bless well, because uh, Isaac uh, stay in the area that God asked him to stay so in the picture you can see he has so many cattle and he afford to hire many servants or herdsmen to raise the cattle so in the year that the food is in the short supply Isaac decided to plant crops in that land and amazingly in the same year he reaped a hundredfold what does it mean so meaning for every seed that Isaac plant on the ground he got hundred bags in this picture you can see they say one seed of bean sprout it will produce another 99 bean sprout so it multiplied by 100 times which is a lot because of this Isaac become richer and richer his wealth continues to grow until he became very wealthy the Lord was blessing him just as he promised the Lord blessed him and the field were producing abundantly because Isaac had his servants use water from the nearby wells to keep the crops growing and also at the same time the water is used to provide uh, water for the animal for the cattle to drink at first the other men living around Isaac like him and they were friendly but as the famine in the land grew worse meaning people have harder time than uh, before to to live because of the shortage of the food and whereby and uh, at the same time uh, as it was uh, prospering but they weren't so they become jealous of him and his prosperity so because of this jealousy instead of working hard and digging their own wells this man threw stuff in Isaac's wells to stop them up and prevent the water from flowing. They just want to create more problem to Isaac because they they want Isaac to be as sovereign as sovereign as them. So at that time there was much tensions and rivalry in the land. It was a big problem at the time. So and then it draw King Abimelech attention and King Abimelech came to see Isaac. This is what King said, Isaac, you must leave our city since you and your family are so prosperous. The city are afraid that you will take over the land and make them your slaves. Please leave. Isaac could not imagine how the people of the city would think such things about him. He had no desire for the land or to make them slaves. He wanted to live peaceably among them. So Isaac went home and told Rebekah and all his household that they had to move. He was being chased away. Actually, he could stay and fight, but he wisely decided to move on instead of getting angry and frustrated. He accepted the situations as God's plan. Isaac and his family decided to move to a valley nearby where his father Abraham had dug another well. When they arrived at just at the right spot, they unloaded their goods and pitched their tent and made themselves a new home. But to his dismay, Isaac found that Philistine had stopped up the well also. So, to his surprise, the well 
filled with rocks, stones, and because of that, it can't get the water out of it. So, Isaac and his servants set to work busily digging out the junk and debris that had been thrown into the well. It took several months, several days of laboring in this hot sun to dig the well with picks and shovels. Finally, to their joy, they found fresh water. Things went well for Isaac in his home, is in his new home, until the herdsmen were in the area which the herds, and they saw Isaac's new well. They decided that it would be a good place to draw water for the animal, and they fought. They fought with Isaac's herdsmen. This is what they say. This is our well. We have lived much longer than you, and the water is ours. Once again, Isaac does, didn't want to fight and didn't want any of his servants or herdsmen fighting either. So Isaac said, We can give them this well and we can dig out another of my father's well for us to use. He called that well Isaac means dispute uh, or contention. So Isaac had his servants dig another well. They work and work and finally they had another well ready for use. But it wasn't very long until the men of Jira came to that well and they started fighting for it. Isaac and his family still didn't want to fight, so they peacefully peacefully gave another well to the herdsman Jira. Isaac named that well Sitna, which means coral. Then Isaac had another meeting with his family and servant. It seems that we have to move again, he told them. The men of Jira needed this well also, so we have to move further away. His family and servants know that there was no use in trying to argue with Isaac because Isaac just wouldn't argue. So they packed up again, loaded their belongings onto the camels and the donkeys and moved to another place. By this time, they had quite efficient digging crew that got out their picks and shovels and started working hard. In several days, they had yet another well ready for, ready for use. They had water all, for all flocks and herds and enough water for their crops. This time, the herdsmen from Jurar left them alone and didn't fight for their water. There was finally enough water for, to everyone to live peacefully. Isaac called the name of the of that well Rehoboth, means now the Lord has made room for us and we shall be fruitful in the land. He understood that this was where God had one of them to come all along. One day, Isaac decided that he would take a trip toward the hills. He wanted to spend time alone with God, pray and seek his directions. He took the small tent and decided to have a camp out of the camp out all by himself. In the quietness of the night, the Lord appeared to him repeating the same message he had previously been given. I am the God of your father, Abraham. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. I will bless you and will increase the number of your descendants for the sake of my servant Abraham. Isaac was happy to hear that from the from the Lord, yet helped him to know that he was obedient to God and doing the right things. Out of his uh, joy, Isaac built an altar there and prayed to the Lord. Then. He pitched his tent and he asked his servant to dug a well there. During that time, Abimelech had come to Isaac from Gerar. Isaac asked them, Why have you come to me since you were hostile to me and sent me away? Then the king Abimelech said, We saw clearly that the Lord was with you. So we said, There ought to be a sworn agreement between us, between you 
and us. Let us make a treaty with you and you will that you will do no harm to us. Just as we did not molest you but always treated you well and sent you away in peace. And now you are blessed by the Lord. Asset then made a feast for them and they ate and drank. Early the next morning, the men swore an oath to each other. Then Isaac sent them on the way, on their way, and they left in peace. So that's the story that we have uh, about Isaac doesn't does not fight. So this is some items that we can take as a lesson learned from our today sharing. First, actually, if possible always be a peaceful person in all situation uh, a sample of this is you can see i said try to find another well instead of defending the existing one because he knows that he can find another one and god and only because of god's permit uh, he can get the, the another well with uh, water as well the second one is we have to listen to God and trust God's promise. God already planned in the beginning. God already planned or already set us, uh, us I said, to stay in the land that God instructed him to stay and will provide Isaac with less. Since Isaac do that, then God also fulfills his promise for the bless. And Isaac always listen to God for for the for the area that he needs to dwell instead of going to another area that God doesn't want to to have him. The third one is show courtesy to people despite inconvenient experience in the past. You can see in the beginning of the story, King Abimelech asked him to move away from the current state that he has that he has a dwell, uh, he has well he has crops there he has uh, he stands there and then but instead of having this uh, this experience Isaac still arranged a feast to King Abimelech so this is also another good attitude that we can follow that we can uh, uh, apply in our daily life. Okay, I think that's all the today sharing. Okay, children, uh, we almost finished our Sunday school sessions. Uh, then we close it with a closing prayer. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we have just listened to the Bible story about Isaac and his well. Please teach us to be a peaceful and hardworking person like him. Also teach us to be more perseverant in life and listen to your word. We do believe that you were with us along the Sunday school sharing as you promised us that when two or more come together in your name, you are with us. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.